Hey everyone, you're watching Flow. It's your boy Livewire here interviewing today. Marcus Gustafsson, also known as Zirkin. Zirkin? Zirkin. Why Zirkin? I don't know. It's just a gymnastic coach that gave me the little nickname. Yeah. I don't even know how to describe the name in English. Okay. So it's, it's not really okay. anything. Cool. Where are we today? Uh, in my gym. Yeah, Airwave Academy. In Helsingborg, uh, Helsingborg, Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. So uh, yeah, basically this is it. We just open up this weekend. Pretty cool. It's like a European tempest. Yeah. Hopefully, other people from Europe will uh, flock to this gym. I think so. I've had a lot of fun here. So starting out, you were a gymnast before. Uh, what age did you start gymnastics? Uh, started gymnastics uh, seven, I think. Till what age? Till 14, 15. Started get boring. Like, just do the same thing every day. Just trainers telling you what to do and not to do. So basically you got tired of it and uh, yeah, got into this. I think that's why a lot of people, a lot of boys these days are discovering parkour gyms yeah. and things like this. If this existed when you were a kid, you would have done this, right? Yes, absolutely. And so you're in Air Whip. Yes. It's a team which has been around for how long? Mm, about six, seven years. Cool. And it's you and uh, Philip? Yes, Looking and uh, Felix and Oscar as well okay. in the team. And you put together events, what kind of things do you do? Uh, basically, it's it's events, it's uh, an academy we open up, we did competitions, uh, uh, live shows, performances, uh, photo shoots, video shoots, uh, whatever you want. I first met you at a Red Bull competition. You came down with Philip from Air Whip in, I think, Vienna in 2007. Yeah. How did that come about for you? How were you invited to that? What was that? Well, that was basically because of you, I think. Uh, because Philip was speaking with you about the competition and somehow he rang up Red Bull Sweden and they said we were about to, uh, uh, yeah, go down. And uh, yeah, went to, uh, went to the competition, got third, got invited to England with you guys. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, everything came out of that. That was like the start of your free running career. Yeah. So what were you doing before that? Uh, I was a chef, working as yeah. a chef, cooking. Cool. That's all right. That's yourself a chef, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. And then you did that Red Bull competition, came to England, hung out, we trained some parkour together. Yeah. Um, and that took you, did that take you more away from just the flips than you wanted to learn? Yes, absolutely. I mean, that, in the beginning it was only about the different wall flips and different blah 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 tricks, whatever. And when I came to you and you, you told me how to tic tac or, or a cat leap, that was like the main beginning of my parkour career. Yeah. And you built like cat to cats and everything yeah. in here. Yeah. It's cool to see it the way the whole thing developed. Yeah. Since that competition you did Red, you did World Free Run Championships, other Red Bull competitions, parkour, you won a parkouring yeah. competition. Um, we've travelled all over the world together. We were recently in China. What were we doing there? Uh, China was basically a was China national competition? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, so it was you, me, Kai, and Jason. Yeah. Four internationals. Um, Where, yeah, Wudang Mountains. Mountains. Wudang Mountains, yeah, that was nice. We filmed a video there. Um, it's a pretty cool video, you did some cool stuff in that. Where else have we been? Santorini this year, you were there. How did you do in that? Uh, Santorini, second, second, second place second. after Pasha. He, he stole it from me, he was last out. <laughs> yeah, he's sick oh. dive roll! And then, winner of Pasha. Yeah, yeah that was, that was good. Cool. You recently did a film in Sweden called Skills. Was that is that anywhere apart from Sweden? Did they subtitle that? Dub that? Uh, they they dubbed it and sent it out to yeah a bunch of places around the world. I guess uh, France and Germany. Um, I mean that's uh, that was a low low budget film, but it was a good experience and yeah had a good time. So how you were doing a lot? Of, was it more acting than free running in there? It was basically. Three days of acting, yeah. two days of shooting free running, yeah. three days of acting, two days of free running. This was basically yeah, for the six weeks period that we had a well, break and a little bit more. Was that your first acting career? Yeah, or? basically that was my first, uh, first ever movie, first ever acting experience. It was a hard time in the beginning to act against Philip as well, because he's one of my best friends. Yeah. And then to be angry when you're not angry and to be happy when you're not happy. Yeah, it's, 
that's that's the hardest part probably would you do more acting going forward i mean yeah if, if someone offered me uh, i would probably say yeah because it was a fun experience but it's i would rather go towards my uh, athlete career yeah. to be the acting career i was don't like seeing myself on screen that much you get used to it a bit but with it from acting point of view that's got to be really different to seeing yourself free running on camera well that was yeah that was a bit different yeah. i mean see yourself speaking a bunch of rubbish and like it was, it was a bit strange but I mean if you would look at it and not knowing yourself yeah. it would be an okay film so it's like yeah it's pretty, pretty cool. fun. You spend a lot of time in LA right? Yeah. And who's that? That's with Tempest. Tempest and I have a lot of friends and family over there as well so I just like to travel back and yeah I cool. like the atmosphere. What's your relationship like with Tempest? It's yeah, it's uh, like some of my best friends, same with you and Jason yeah. and all of these guys. Basically, we can go over when we want and yeah. just hang out. Have they inspired you with this academy where we're yes, at? Yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, that's uh, after we went to you in England, we went to Tempest for a month, um, me and Philip. So basically, they are some of our inspirational heroes and what, I've, what they have accomplished and everything. So it's, it's pretty cool. You can see that. You're a bet safe athlete. Uh, with free running, you've got like Red Bull athletes and a um, fast break athlete. What? But no one's really been with someone like that. How, how does that work? Uh, I mean, basically from the beginning, it was only like a fun thing that we did together, and they helped me out, and I helped them out, and, and then we did the uh, competition this year, and yeah. everything blew up. So I mean, all of the athletes are now facebooking me or. Twitter or whatever and yeah. how, how do you get into the BetSafe challenge and all of this stuff. So it's pretty cool to be able to do your own thing and yeah. having people recognize it and just wanted to come to a cool event. That's really cool. Well two years ago I came to Helsingborg, this is my third time here, two years ago I came for the Airwick Winter Jam yeah. and that was like in a gymnastics hall, everyone was staying in log cabins, that was really cool. Yeah. And did you? Think how could we evolve that? Is that how this came about? Um, well, no, I don't think. I mean, the, the Arab Academy thing has been going on for the last two, two three years. Mm -hmm. uh, we just wanted to do a winter winter camp together with you and all of different fun people mm -hmm. to invite and just have a good training session and help out kids to get inspired yeah. and do all of this stuff as well. This seems really like an evolution of that, even if it wasn't directly. Yeah. You've got now a platform that's your own, you own it. Yeah. To do that, how long was the process of the whole academy? Uh, I mean, basically it's been three years probably, and from being only ten people in our classes, yeah. then last last year we had about sixty and two times a week, yeah. uh, and then we were working so hard to get this hall so that we can build our own thing. When, when when did you begin work to get this hall? If people at home, if other free run teams wanted to build their own academy, at what stage did you begin? Six months ago, or six, well, basically six months was the first day that we came in and just starting cracking the walls that were, were shattered. So you had to do work to get the government. Yeah, that that took for maybe one and a half years. Okay. So that was a long time convincing them to actually give us a place to, to have yeah. our own gym, and after that it, it it was pretty fairly fast. So if you could find a a nice location without having to paint the whole thing or fix all of the problems yeah. in it. It would be done in four months. Or so. Okay. What went into building it? Did you hire people or did you help build it yourself? Uh, it was mainly ourselves. So it's, I mean, I, I couldn't do shit when I started up. Yeah. I couldn't screw, I couldn't hammer, I couldn't do anything. But now I could, I could build boxes, I could yeah. paint, I can do all of this stuff that you can. You learn a lot of new skills, yes. and it literally just opened two days ago. Yeah. How was that feeling, like to have worked, you say, a year and a half on the government to get them to give you the location? Yeah. Six months building it with your own bare hands yeah. and getting your friends involved. That day it opened. How was that? Was, it was pretty hectic. I mean, there was like maybe five, six hundred kids or people in here yeah. uh, just looking around and see how it was and. I mean, I was a bit afraid of your expectations and the guys around that came came with because, I mean, we haven't been posting videos, haven't been posting photos or anything, we just yeah, kept it for already. ourselves because yeah. uh, we wanted to do it good and, and just when we release it, it's, it's going to be alright. It exceeded my expectations, like I came here and I thought, oh cool, they've been given some space and they'll have 
But I know you guys, anything you do, you tend to do it well. Yes. But I still, I underestimate you somehow. And like I said, this is like a European Tempest. And yeah. like, that is, I hope you take that as a huge compliment because Tempest is the best free room like, place in the world. Yeah. But this, to be the European equivalent of that is, is a huge oh, thanks. stuff. Yeah, Thank no, you very much. It's a, it's a great platform to begin. Hopefully other countries in Europe take you as an example. They come here so they don't have to travel as far as America. Yeah. They can come here, see what you've done here. And you know, build on that. It's, exactly. it's really inspiring. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 fun. The academy in, in the Tempest uh, that they did was an inspiring moment for us to see what we could do yeah, and, me too. and develop and, yeah. and see all of this stuff. So. You took that as a more of a calling card than I did, and you were like, "How can we do that?" Yeah, you know, that's, that's really cool. Yeah. You put out a really cool video last year um, where you addressed as pirates. How did that? What was that? Um, where did that come from? Well, I mean, obviously it was Philip's idea. He always comes up with the crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah. Uh, next thing he want to do the, the Lord of the Rings or something. <laughs> I know, but anyway, it's uh, it was a fun thing. He was in Malta. He said it's pretty good, good uh, structure. You can jump and do. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, so we went over there for a week. Had some meetings. Um, shoot some shoot some videos and yeah. ended up being a good video. It's really cool. It's good to see people putting out videos with concepts, not just free room. You another video you did recently was that slow motion one. Yeah. What camera was that shot on? Uh, I think it was Sony something. Yeah. I, I don't really know the name of it. But that was really like two hundred frames for a second, three hundred yeah. frames a second and it looked really lush, like that was a beautiful video. Yeah, and last did. last year it's been yeah, a little bit more videos. I did uh, my own showreel. That as well. Edited it together. Yeah. Um, How many views did that get? I, I think it's over 200,000 now. That was really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm just happy because it's yeah. never, I didn't have any videos that were uploaded that was so good. Yeah. So it's, yeah, happy about that. Who were your inspirations, like, with free running? When you started out, who did you look up to at the time? Uh, you and uh, Tempest, obviously. Thank you. Yeah. And since competition came in, Jason has always been an yeah. influence guy. Yeah. But um, I mean, just and now at the moment with the training here, who is that? I mean, like Jason and people. Yeah, and also it's it's gonna be pretty cool to have my own place so I can train my own style instead of yeah. just try to see what they come up with and try to yeah, do this do stuff. Going forward, as Zurkin in the free running community, what do what do you want to do? You want to do more competitions? You want to yeah, teach? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my main goal now is during winter just train in here yeah. and not spoil any tricks. So just keep it on yeah. for myself and yeah. just put it out there this this competition year, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Betsafe competition is coming about this year again. Um, yeah, just training, do my thing, uh, help out the people that I want to help out at the academy and, and build the next one. I don't know, maybe. Cool. We'll just have an open mind and see what, what comes future. Yeah, that sounds good. We're going to go to the internet now and check out your questions, what you've asked Marcus. This one's from Sebastian Telstrom. Do you have a sister? Yes, I do. <laughs> Two sisters. How old? Uh, seven and nine. Okay. Don't know why that matters, but there you go. Cameron Locko Park asks, A6 or Puma? Puma. Yeah, you wear Puma, are you wearing Puma now? Uh, not now. Calendrys. Calendrys at the moment. But you like your Puma, Puma training. Jack English, how did you learn to back 360? Because you, you have quite, a, your back 360 is quite well known in the community from, in competitions you do it over yeah. obstacles, yeah. Um, which is quite an accomplishment and a very impressive movement. Um, so. Well, I mean, just, I've done them since I was eight something yeah. on, on hard floor, yeah. so it's just oh, wow. getting drilled. And I think Philip said you learnt it first or second try. You just, yeah. It's went on trampoline or whatever. Just, I think just try to go sideways and try to cheat it, cheat it a yeah. little bit, but then in the end you want to go over your head. Yeah. Train, 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 and a few, few more attempts you'll make it. Just cool. don't give up. <laughs> How did you meet Jason and the athletes? Um, I met all of the athletes at competitions. Yeah. So yeah, through, through Facebook or yeah, competitions. Yeah. He said, how do you get a chance to go to the Red Bull battle? Does anybody compete in it? What do you mean? With Red Bull, I think he means with Red Bull competitions, how do you get the entrance? In invites. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, that I don't really know. But it's we, just invite. We got, we, I mean, you managed to get yourself in the first one yes. because you did so successfully. Yeah. It just kept on going. They invited you to future ones. Yes. But the, I think my advice for that is really try and get yourself known, put out good content on the internet because no one's really going to, at this stage, with parkour, there's so many YouTube videos out there. Yeah. If you're not known on YouTube for having good 
freerunning free videos, it's going to be hard. You, you're not going to be able to lie to somebody and say, I'm a good freerunner, let me in your competition, when there's so many others to choose from with evidence. So you need to show the community that you are a talented guy, get yourself known through YouTube. That, that's the biggest advice. Yeah, I go to different events and yeah. just jams and hang yeah. around with people that, that, is, that is nice and just have if, a connection if, yeah. to it. If you're really passionate about it and that's your goal and your aim is to be in them, you'll get there. I saw a guy recently, Nathan Jones, who trained with me in Derby, and he said he wanted to be in comps. And I can't put a guy forward for competitions without that evidence. And he really pushed his training really hard, put out good videos. Then they actually, in the last Santorini, they put out an open invite. People could submit videos and they selected the people from the videos. Yeah. He flew himself over because he really wanted to do it, got there. Some got into the finals. Got into the, he came fourth and then somebody pulled out the finals. He got moved up, boom, yeah. he was in. And he, I watched a guy work from just being a kid training, wanting that goal and he worked and he got there. Yeah. So don't complain there's not the opportunity to get there because if you really want it, you'll, you'll, you'll be willing to work for it and you'll get there. Exactly, that's, that's how we did it from the beginning. We were lucky yeah. to get into the first one, but, but before that we worked yeah. so hard to get into the next Yeah, next you, that you stage. earned it from yeah. the first place. So it's, I mean, nowadays it's just don't give up. Like, yeah. If if you don't give up in five years, you'll make it. Yeah, I definitely. That's, that's a I agree with that's that. a goal. Just work hard. Like if you love what you do, keep doing it. You don't have to do it to get recognised. That will come alongside of you enjoying the art that you're doing. Yeah. Um, I think we'll finish on that. Thanks for all your questions. Anyway, thank you, Marcus, for Thanks. being a good guest and a host at the Airwhip Academy. If you're in Europe, if you're in Sweden, come check out this place. It's really fun. Yes. We're putting out other videos of this. You've got an interactive game. Yep. that's coming out on a uh, on YouTube on youtube.com slash flow we put out that that video game that's gonna be really good like the what was in chief one we did before yeah there's POV videos in this gym we got Kai Willis doing some of that and there's actually we shot a little documentary on you guys while we we're here so check that stuff out it's all gonna be on flow if it's not already out there stay tuned latest guys Woo! <laughs> Yeah? I do. Okay, I'm going to face it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey everyone, you're watching Flo, and this is another interview with me, Livewire. <laughs> and there's a train going by, I'm going to do it again. <laughs>